Hey everyone, earlier this year, Lanier announced agents for Lanier. So when you are assigning tasks, assigning tickets, not only can you assign them to individuals on your team, but you can assign them to agents. There are a few companies that have already partnered with Lanier to offer their agents as part of the assignees. So some of the key ones here are Cursor, Copilot, Sentry, Devon, ChatPRD, Fin coming soon. Those are the agents that are already predefined by another company that you can install and use. Lanier also lets you create your own agents for your own team and have them be assigned. They've actually created a basically a getting started Hello World weather bot. So you can actually clone that and just see how it's used. I went ahead and cloned this just to see what it looks like. So you can see here the, the weather bot that they've given you to get started. It really is a SDK to be able to one, share the thinking, the loading uh, as part of the comments. You can see some of that live status. It lets the agent update the states or even move the ticket, uh, maybe potentially pick a different assignee. Can so you actually reassign? You can just leverage the API, but a lot of this is just the linear SDK. So nice. you can really just do almost anything the API allows. Yeah, that's actually a really interesting way to do cross-agent collaboration. Yeah, I do part that's of a really it. good point, yeah. You can either send an event or you can say like, hey, I'm reassigning it to yeah. you today. This is a pretty powerful mental model because everyone already uses project management tools. If yep. you can just imagine, hey, instead of just assigning to someone on my team, let me assign to the agent. And the agent will decide it can have its own tool calls. And if it cannot accomplish the task, it can reassign to someone else or a different agent. Yeah, almost a... Uh coming in for people like Crew AI. We're not, you don't really need a framework for managing a bunch of agents yeah. if you start to treat them like a bunch of humans. So I have my own linear board that I actually use for my own side projects and life tasks. And I have several websites that go out of date very quickly. And a very annoying task that I have is in the footer of all my websites every year, I just forget to update it. So I have a long running list of just things I have to update. So here I just created it as a task that I was eventually going to get to, but you can see under assignee, I can actually go ahead and just give this to cursor. So before I do that, I just want to show you a little bit of the, the setup. So this was a little frustrating because I tried using this and every time it sent the task to cursor, I had to go through three cycles of deleting it because it's one, I have to make sure it was installed. Two, it needed like a default repo. It's on me a little bit to not have set that up ahead of time, but you'll get error messages throughout the process. Eventually, once you have it fully installed, you have to point to a default repo, which to me was a little frustrating because I kind of want Cursor to figure out what repo to use. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to do that when assigning a task for a human, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, or maybe there's a tag in Linear or there is some text I can write in the description to say, figure out what repo, because currently Cursor has access, uh, at least in my personal account, all of my repos, uh, but I still had to pick a default repo mm -hmm. for this integration. So I'm gonna go ahead and assign this to Cursor and you can see that it is connected and it's examining the issue. It'll take a little bit of time, but it will kick off the PR. You think uh, the cursor agent's gonna be like, hey, I can just write some JavaScript so you don't have to update this every year? Exactly. Well, <laughs> I would imagine What's what it's gonna do, year, uh... it'll do uh, dot date and then strip year, but we'll see what is the solution. It's like, don't make me with. keep updating this every year, please. Uh, so a couple things happened. One is it did move it to in progress. Two is you can see that the cloud agent was spun up. And if I jump into cursor, you can see the work it's actually doing. Uh, but what I think is really nice, and we talked around the SDK, is you can see the loading state and you can pass in what you want in the thinking trace. Like you can actually update here, which is a really nice interaction. Did it get it right? Yeah. It get looks done year. here, but I want to see how long. Oh, there we go. So it successfully has done it. If I click here, I can see it. I can see the PR. Uh, but just looking at it, this is what I expected date dot get year and I will probably push this just to kind of recap one you can assign tasks and linear tickets directly to agents agents can run a background process to actually either accomplish it or come back and ask questions I do expect this to be the future of some of these project management tools. I expect to see Jira sort of follow up on this where in the assignee you'd probably have some agents. Linear also has been publishing a design for agents manifesto. And one thing you'll notice is the assignee is always an agent under an individual. So it's like cursor on behalf of me. And one of the reasons I think this sort of short circuits a few problems because it's really leveraging my off and certain things that I have that the autonomous agent currently doesn't, but we can see in the future, similar to how we have service accounts, 
Uh, potentially, these agents will have their own auth. Currently, it's always an agent that is delegated to as opposed to fully owned. There's probably going to be a world where we want to see these uh, these org charts too. <laughs> yeah. Which different agents are working on whose behalf, not just say I'm working on your behalf, but yeah. maybe I'm being managed by you. Maybe you have a couple different agents that you've kind of custom mm -hmm. fine-tuned or created for your particular company's code base. Yeah. Um, I can see a variety of things being done here. Uh, to me, really, the, this kind of idea of collaborating in the same space that humans would is a really good way to also view and debug what's going on whenever these things are going. Effectively, that is linear. Uh, this is a pattern we expect to see in the future. And another tool that we're looking into is Vibe Kanban. We actually built a tool very similar. Uh, and you want to talk about Vibe Kanban? Yeah, we built Dispatch Board yep. uh, as a little toy project a while ago. And that was fun. It was right before Vibe Kanban came out, so I think we I think we, we got there, but yeah. we uh, didn't quite get the um, the the right timing. Mm -hmm. But let me bring up Vibe Kanban. Um, all right, so Vibe Kanban really is another one of these linear Jira-like task boards, but very much targeting the MCP and general agent space. One of the things I like about it, and one of the things that we'll see if I, if we end up using it or end up using something like like this in the future, is that it's really easy to hack on it yourself. It's all open source, mm -hmm. so you can see right now this is running on my machine, um, which is nice if you want to go and make some changes to it and, and tweak it and integrate it with your own system. They're also very open to making it easy to integrate into your own application. Um, everything else looks a little bit like linear, except they don't have the who's on behalf of or who's reporting to. But let's try a few things out. It's targeting. Uh, not just can agents create tasks, but you can also assign to a bunch of different agents in parallel. I've seen many people um, assign different ones, so like go find some networking bugs. I have it pointing at a repo that, I, that we're using for a dispatch board, actually. Um, and, oh, sorry, that's the name. Network bugs. Give it a description. You can create task and start, and it starts to show you what's happening. Very similar to what you were just looking at. Is it is there a notion of explicit assignees or just kind of just... There is explicit assignees. This is the default is mm -hmm. to um, assign it to... There's like one in default that you can pick. I picked Claude in the beginning. Okay. Uh, my local running Claude, but let's look at one that was already done. Mm -hmm. So you can see here, they, they do what they call attempts at finishing it. They're not saying it's done yet. It gets mm -hmm. reviewed. So this okay. is very much focused on the humans collaborating with you and assume that there's going to always be a human in the loop right now. So in this case, I said, hey, go and look for some bugs in the current code base. Uh, it made an attempt and found a few different things. Kind of classic, like search through, give me all the results of what it's doing, all the, all the stuff that you would see Cloud Code do for you normally, except it's tracked here. And it says, I found some urgent tasks. But if I want to say... Uh, this is attempt. I can actually even open it in my IDE. I already okay. defined what IDE I want. So in this case, I'm saying open it in cursor. Um, and I can create a new attempt. I can create a new attempt that right now you have other people you can pick from. But I can say go and assign it to Codex and go and pick a different branch you're going to be starting with. So you could presumably, you could have like two running in parallel. Mm. Um, so you can have like Codex go take a chance. Yeah. Go and go and have a, a few other ones, and then compare those attempts between each other, which I think is pretty neat. Yeah, um, is this mostly? It sounds like this is more on an engineering task basis. It's less so broad back office tasks. Right. So exactly. I think that that's a, one of the big differences. Is this is very much made for Kanban board for handling coding agents, mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. It stops that's there. Yeah. I think because it's open source, there's a bunch of different reasons why you can do a lot more. Um, and you can go and make changes to how this stuff runs. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely one of those things where it's not made for uh, any task that anyone might be using something like Linear yeah. for. It's made for devs to try things out, to get their agents. And I think the way they've almost always worded it is it's a Kanban board made for agents to use, for coding agents to, to use, yeah. okay. not one for humans to be collaborating quite as much. Although they do put a lot of effort into yeah. the collaboration aspect. So when one way to think about it is a Vibe Kanban can almost not disintermediate, but let you use multiple coding agents, potentially one that's better at front end, one that's better at designing uh, services. You can actually give them multiple attempts and then see how they do. Precisely. Yeah. Um, and you, it does have the ability to, let's see if we can actually do it, um, create the top three tasks. Um, it does have the ability to actually go and create tasks with the MCP server as well. Mm -hmm. If you want to integrate that into your own agent that might be running in the background. Okay. Um, uh, and it's one of those things where it might not actually, yeah, it's not actually deploying them. Right. Oh, here it is. 
Uh, no, it didn't drop those in. Um, it's not going to actually create them unless you integrate this with your particular agent or like give the Claude or anyone else that you're running access to their MCP server. But it's all pretty configurable. Looks like VibeKMN is a local. It's not actually running background agents. They're using your local Claude code, your local codec. That's right. That's another yeah. good point is that everything is expecting, and this is back to like developer focus versus probably something that might just yeah. be running for a bunch of agents uh, across your company. Um, the current version of Vibe Combine that I'm running, and I'm sure they're going to be making more and more yeah. additions in the future, is made to really manage all the agents that you might be running on your own machine. Mm -hmm. um, you could presumably deploy this somewhere else and have it hook into agents that are yeah. remote. True, um, I think they actually have remote options as well. But the default version that you can use that they really have shared it with a lot of devs is go and run it on my own machine, go and make sure that it can manage all the, you know, three to ten agents I have running on my system right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people like it for this, like, run a bunch of these things in parallel kind yeah. of mode. That Which we'll sense. see what changes now that we have. Um, Cursor has just added the ability to do a lot of the parallel agents as well. Linear is definitely designed for software teams, but became a broader platform. It's closer to Jira where it's uh, engineering teams, non-engineering teams, support teams, back office work. Uh, it's a general purpose project management tool. Yep. And these agents, though a lot of them are coding agents to start, we expect this to be widening soon to have agents that can do general tasks. Vibe Cam down on the other side is a bit more coding agent specific, a bit more local, uh, but it lets you use multiple coding agents for similar tasks. But all open source. So if you want to change it, yeah, that's true. you want to bring it into your system it, and do yeah. something interesting, seems yeah. reasonable, except it's mostly written in Rust. <laughs> So, yeah. you know, good for some people, maybe not for everyone. Maybe not as approachable, but very, yeah. very performant at least. Exactly. Um, and then the other thing to note is linear for agents. There is that SDK that you can create your own agent. So if you're creating a LangGraph agent, a crew agent, you can actually just design that, manage and host it, and then use the SDK to actually listen to uh, when it is assigned. It'll emit that to your agent, and it can interact with linear. And I really think that's pretty powerful. It's tough to hand work off between humans, between agents, and having that UX and that data model of Linear or Jira really helps in the long run of actually managing that work. So I'm pretty excited for this world. Yeah, I think it's cool. And honestly, I think trying more of these collaboration tools that are for managing and being able to observe what agents are doing versus what humans are doing yeah. is we should see more of these different things coming out. Yeah, and that mental model comments on tickets already exists. It's one that humans are very familiar with. And it's actually a place where agents can solidify their thinking traces, which yep. is uh, something that is just lost. If you're just using an agent and the reasoning is on, you can really just ask the agent, okay, given all this context, summarize your thought process and just put a comment. All righty. Anything else? No, that's it. All righty. Talk to you all later. Bye.